What's up fools, it's Ghostful, and welcome back to my channel. I want to apologize for the lack of posts, I've been going through some personal stuff, and haven't really been feeling up to recording, but I'm going to try to start posting more as of right now. also want to apologize if I sound like crap, because I'm currently sick, so my voice is probably a little messed up. So if you're wondering why I sound different, that would be why. So for today, we're going to be working in my sketchbook. It's a sketchbook that I want to take a little more seriously than the other ones. The other ones I doodle in, this one I want to take seriously. I'm going to be using primarily pencil and shading. Shading with just my finger and pencils. I've got a whole bunch of different sized pencils. And I'm going to be making a landscape of whatever comes up to my head. I thought up a cabin right on the edge of a mountain range. I got very carried away with the mountains, as you can see. There's way too many mountains. I really like painting and drawing mountains, so got a little bit carried away and just went overboard on the mountains. It's my favorite thing to paint. I feel so peaceful and at peace when I'm drawing mountains or making landscapes. It feels nice. As you can see here, just adding some grass and rocks for more detail and depth. Each little bit of grass or rocks, it just makes more to the drawing. It feels like it's more lived in when there's random stuff around, I feel. But going back to my materials, I'm only going to be using my trusty pencils and my fat finger for blending. I find that it's good to challenge yourself and work in a restricted palette or medium to learn that medium better, in this case pencil, I feel like having myself limited to only using my pencils and my finger for blending and erasing and trying to get as much depth and, you know, shape out of the pencils, I can use that when I go back to painting in color or, you know, different ways. I feel like a sketch is just <clears throat> Sorry, a sketch is just like the bare bones of a painting. When you add the color, you can see in a sketch where it's charcoal or pencil, you can see where it would be darker or lighter because of the, the tone and the values of the actual sketch. And then you can use that when transferring it over to painting. And it's very nice and easy. It just makes a lot of sense to me. And I feel like with work, working with charcoal and pencils, you leave a little bit of yourself behind in the piece. You work on the piece so much that you and the piece are one. And there's such a calmingness of working with charcoal as it melts away on the page, or even pencil as it marks the page. And there's something so freeing, and you feel one with the paper. It just feels like you left something of yourself behind in the artwork. And I feel like that's what really makes the art, is the emotion behind it and the message behind the work. Whether it be a message at all or just simply doodling. But maybe I'm just a crazy painter, who knows. But for this sketch, I got very immersed and in the zone. I was up to about midnight doing it. I had my girlfriend on the phone begging me to go to sleep. You never know when creativity is going to strike. So when it does, it's always hard for you to stop working. Each thing I added to the drawing to me seemed like it added so much sense and value to the, the piece. I just felt like if I stopped, I wouldn't be able to pick up. And I feel like when you're drawing like that, it's very zen, meditative. And I think that's the thing that makes it so hard to put down the pencil or the paintbrush or whatever it may be that you're doing creatively is that you have that creative drive pushing and you want to finish all of it right now and that can keep you up till 2, 3 in the morning. Many times I've painted until 4.30 in the morning, 5, and you go to sleep the next morning and you wake up the next day and you still paint. Like I've had one night I had to stay up so late because the deadline for the painting was the next day. 
But I stayed up the whole night and I finished it and I love how this painting looks. There's gonna be a video coming out about this painting pretty soon. It's Candyland, I have that finished, but I'm gonna be filming a whole video for that. So, videos to look forward to are going to be the Candyland video. There's going to be my sketchbook tours, that one's going to be coming out. And I want to say more painting videos I'm going to be doing, and I'm definitely going to be streaming on Twitch, so definitely go over there and check me out. Um, I stream over there every now and then. I haven't been streaming as often, but like I've been saying, I'm going to try to post more. As you're going to see, after the sketch was done, I took my art journal and I started writing in it. I write in my art journal about the struggles or the joys that I face when I'm making a painting or a sketch or, in this case, a drawing. And for this piece, it was very nice and relaxing to do. It took a lot off my mind to just sketch with the charcoal. As a painter, I worry a lot about the colors and how they would look, how if they would clash and stuff. With charcoal, it's a nice release to just let all the color go. I didn't expect myself to like charcoal sketching as much as I did, but it was very enjoyable to me. I'm very tempted to just finish the rest of this sketch on the stream on Twitch, so if any of you guys want to come see me over there. I'm um, not sure about my Twitch, I'm pretty sure I have it linked in my YouTube channel so you guys can find it over there. But, so yeah, maybe you guys can catch me over on Twitch. Yeah, I enjoyed sketching an only pencil. Did you like watching me? I'm definitely going to be doing more videos like this. So subscribe, like, and have a good day, y'all. Peace.